Hello and welcome back everyone to PBA to Z. Uh, in a prior video series, we have uh, learned how you can use PBA to connect to SharePoint server and also to MS Access database. And we have learned various ways, SQL commands and, uh, you know, using ADM method, uh, we have learned how to create tables, data fields, and then we have learned how to uh, add data, retrieve data, delete data, and so on. So in this, uh, you know, another series of working with external data from uh, Excel or your Max MS Access database, I'll be, you know, telling you how, showing you how you can use PV to connect to SQL Server. So first, uh, if you don't have SQL Server, you know, at home, you can simply go to my blog, bba2z.blogspot.com, and uh, you can download the um, free SQL Server 2008 or, you know, more uh, versions are available at msdn, the microsoft.com. And uh, you can install and, you know, play along with me. So uh, I have, you know, now that the uh, SQL Server is much more, um, uh, you know, um, better, you know, in a simple term as compared to MS Access database, which can hold around maximum of 2.5 GB data, uh, which is a uh, file server base, right? And uh, SQL Server is a client or server approach. It's a... Uh, as the architecture and uh, it's much more reliable and then in terms of data integrity and security and performance uh, it's much more better so um, I'm sure you'll have to come across uh, you know for example for me right now I'm using uh, SQL you know BBA SQL and um, other you know BI services but uh, to give you a simple example I'm using SQL server as a as a database and then Excel dashboard uh, which is uh, uploaded in as a you know SharePoint and a user who have access to the SQL server can directly open the dashboard and have it uh, you know um, for you know any reports that is so that's uh, very simple and uh, easy to maintain as well so these are some of the points I'll be covering in upcoming videos like uh, uh, I'll be showing you using BBA how you can uh, create databases. What are the commands that you need to use? What are the methods that you need to use? And uh, I have uh, uh, this slide uh, uploaded in our blog. So you have more, uh, you know, the connection strings. You have like, uh, you know, other resources that you can read and learn more about uh, this particular series. So um, more, but uh, I'll be telling you everything. I'll be making the codes available for you to download and directly play along we have a sample data already so um, uh, please uh, like and subscribe to our channel and do not miss on any of the upcoming videos so I'll see you in, an, in our next video thank you bye bye